Hi everybody, so I am here to introduce our brand new look and feel um, and an enhanced uh, research solution in poetry. You might remember that quite recently we introduced insights into the poetry platform. We know that um, personas wasn't the, the right place for that to exist, but we just wanted to trial um, and see whether we get the information right, validate some of it, see what else our customers needed from us before we went and uh, really enhanced our research solution to incorporate some of that talent intelligence. I'm quite simply going to share my screen today. I'm going to click on research. And I'm going to talk you through how that works. So as always, you can find or create research um, that you've had a look at before um, or create new. In this example, I'm going to look for engineering. Uh, let's do a software engineer in Glasgow. That's where I live. Um, it's full time on site. UK English is fine. And then we've got different types of research. So as I start to flick through here, you can see that I'm selecting what job titles are similar, what are the most important skills, what academic institutions um, do these software engineers uh, study at in Glasgow. I've also got understanding companies where there's a few questions there. I might want just to ask uh, what the companies are the most prominent in my area. I then have talent intelligence. That's things like where else might those candidates be based? What's the market mobility? What are the key issues that they're facing? Really importantly, what's the gender diversity for that role? Um, how does the demand compare to the supply and things like that as well? We've also got things in there around growth projections, turnover rates, stuff like that. And really, within the kind of click of a button after you've selected those, we'll start to populate that information for you. So you can see here a slightly different layout, a little bit more interactive. What other job titles are similar? Where else might those software engineer candidates be based? A list of um, you know where they where they might have studied. We then go into attrition rates with sources, gender diversity with sources. Um, what are the most important skills for that particular role? What are the turnover rates? And then you can see that I've got a list of prominent employers in the area as well, along with their logos. Each of these can now be edited and deleted if it's not applicable to what you're looking for, or it might not be quite right, or you might want to add to it. You can press edit or delete. And uh, now you can also add your own team research as well. So you can create a title and an overview. You can create that in list format. You can create badges and things like that as well and add those things into research as your own question. From there, you have the ability to create, head back to the list and then update it as always. This is really exciting for us. I'm genuinely um, thrilled with the team and, and the work that we have done um, so far on this. Hopefully you find that helpful and I'd love to hear your thoughts.